So I'm walking through a meadow near my house and the vast majority of plants in this meadow are Bradford pears. For those who don't know, Bradford pears are not native to the United States and here in southeastern Pennsylvania they spread like crazy. So any meadow or any disturbed soil or early successional area is taken over quickly by Bradford pears. Why is that a bad thing? One of the main reasons why it's a bad thing is because it takes up space and it outcompetes our native plants. Like these hemp dogbane, this common milkweed, and these goldenrods, which are arguably the best herbaceous plant wildflower for wildlife because they support so many insects, including this thing right here, which is the goldenrod gallfly. It's also a bad thing because our native insects cannot use the Bradford pear. They can't eat their leaves and they can't use the plant to complete their life cycle. So when a green space or a meadow like this is overtaken by an invasive plant like Bradford pear, the ecosystem loses out because there's not as many insects that are eating plants, there's not as many available insects for the birds, and all the way up the food chain. When you choose to plant a non-native invasive plant like the Bradford pear in your yard, you risk it spreading into wild places and outcompeting our native vegetation to the detriment of our ecosystems. On the other hand, if you planted a native tree like a redbud or a flowering dogwood or a native crab apple, and they end up spreading into places like this, it actually helps the ecosystem because it's more food for our insects and more energy being transferred throughout the ecosystem. Pennsylvania added the Bradford pear to the noxious weed list recently, so it's going to be illegal to sell in Pennsylvania by the end of next year, which is a great thing, but they're not going anywhere. People are still gonna plant them, they're still gonna spread on their own, and they've established. But what we need is for people to plant native and to stop planting invasive plants like this one.